what's with me top top and luck back to another insane craft video now you might be wondering why do i say another insane craft video when it's episode one that is right i did an episode zero so go check out episode zero of course but if you didn't know what happened to my recording my audio died so we need to do a voiceover to some pre-recorded footage and yeah i'm gonna do some live not really live commentary on this gameplay uh that i did make sure to subscribe of course and let's get right into episode one which is ironically the second episode of the series for insane craft all right so where we last left off we were in this little area right and i set my spawn point and everything and you know i was just climbing up this ladder oh wow look at that my chunks were showing uh yeah i needed to fix that in the options so i went down and fixed that in the options skip over a little bit once I finally fix my chunks, ah yes, everything looks very happy, peaceful. Uh, there's a little thing over there, and oh my god! Oh no! <laughs> it's a, uh, Violet Wendigo. Yeah, so those cyan pools of liquid, that thing right there, it's essentially some sort of, like, cold liquid thing that spawns in that. Yeah these things and it's not that they're hard to defeat it's just that they spawn either so many of them or uh, i guess the violets or any kind of wendigo which kind of scares the crap out of me uh that's uh, probably like one of the more scarier like a night mobs to come across in my opinion at least um but yeah now as you can see here if they're kind of spawning in a lot of them a lot of those of those those ice people so I pulled out the evoker fan, I, fang, as you can see, and I was just hitting them through the wall with my evoker fan, because as you guys might know how the evoker works, it kind of just puts the clamps and through the, the, you know, it continues the clamp through the wall. So I use that to my advantage to kill the violet wendigo and a bunch of the other stuff. So yeah. Eventually, I started walking around exploring a little bit, and then I found a Jengu in the water and then killed it. So, yeah, I killed the Jengu. Uh, and then I was going back to the village, mainly because I wanted to, I guess, do some things near the village with some stuff. Um, my friends were also talking about killing the broke, bro, Barack, broke, bro. Barack Obama chief son boy. Um, anyways, so yeah, they're talking about uh, killing the sun chief or chief son Chief of the sun. I, I don't know what you call this thing. What do, what do you call the fat guy with the mask? Anyways, fat guy with mask that has sun powers. Yeah, we were interested in like ending his existence and uh, Yeah, so that was the first technical boss that we were going to kill uh, if we went out and decided to you know do such things after some time, I actually went AFK, so there was that. And then when I got back in, I started to eat some of this food so that I can get extra hearts. The way that the extra heart system works is that if you eat unique foods, you have a chance of getting a unique heart, I guess, or, or a new heart to your thing. And so I was trying to eat as much unique food as possible. Unfortunately, I don't think I got a new heart here, but it was relatively close. I also ran into some weird, like, Lux, uh, Drake thing. I don't know, Lux Crake. I, I don't know what the, the, yeah, Lux Crake, that's what it is. Uh, so, yeah, I decided to, tr to try and fight such a thing. Uh, it was almost, almost scary. Or it almost killed me, whatever, you know, you get the idea. And so, yeah, there was that. Me and Aluba were exploring, uh, mainly to find you know, unique stuff, and we found a, uh, an Applied Energy 6 Meteor, or aka Skystone, so there's that. Alright, nothing really interesting happens on our exploration, so we'll just skip ahead, and oh wow, we found the Sun Sheaf, guys! Look at us go! Okay, well, one thing that did happen that was relatively interesting was that, uh... When I attacked a cow, apparently all the other cows are to fight back, which I personally didn't expect that. There were also some purple weird things, so yeah. Eventually, you know, we had apparently tried to tackle on the Sun Sheaf. 
However, it looks like Nick decided to be like, oh, hi, I'm gonna ruin your fun and start to like speed run bosses. And so, yeah, he basically said, let's kill the boss as fast as possible. And that's what happened. So, yay, did nothing to freaking contribute to the boss fight. Okay, well, that's the one boss down. About like what? Like 30 more to go. There's like a lot of bosses in this pack, so we're gonna have to fight a lot um, in this in this pack. Most likely, it'll be when I actually speak in my videos rather than do a post commentary. So yeah, me and Luba went mining as well. Uh, main reason for this is because we needed ores. Like we needed a lot of ores because we don't we don't really mine a lot, right? So we just need to get some ores and like get ourselves situated with some goodies. Oluba had the brightest idea. Yes, very, very intelligent man. Uh, he, he decided, hey, let's go as far down as possible. Why far down as possible? Well, because the further you go, the better the loot or the, the ores. Yeah, better the ores. He mainly wanted to mine for lapis, which that wasn't something that we found. However, what we did find was a lava pool. And if you guys may or may not know, Lava pool spawns in baddies. So, yeah, the baddies started to attack. Also, Luba found like a Cyclops that was very passive. I don't know why it was a passive Cyclops, but you know, the Luba looted the gold and I just was there, I guess. So, yeah. Also, Luba punched a beehive and it started to attack back, so there's that. We went back into the cave to mine some things and, you know, I was trying to mine anything that looked cool, but obviously things that look cool that doesn't mean that they're good. I also found a village. It had like a very nice look to it. I, I like the black wood that they used. It was, it was very, very cool and all that. However, here is the one problem with the black wood village. The black wood village was, uh, kind of maybe, maybe not, uh, next to a dragon. So, uh, yeah, I was trying to alert Nick and let, let, let look at Nick, guys. I, I want you guys to look at Nick for a second, all right? I'm saying, hey, Nick, look, watch out, Nick. Look, look, watch out, Nick. Watch out, Nick. Watch out, Nick. Watch out, Nick. Nick, watch out. Nick, look. Look, Nick. Nick, look. Look, Nick. Nick, look. Look, Nick. And then by the time that he finally realized that there was a dragon, yeah, he got pummeled by a uh, rum. A, a Remo, Remo bra. Yep, pummeled by a Remo bra. Yeah, and then you know I decided to stay in a house, hoping that the dragon won't break down the house. And the, and sure enough, yeah, the dragon broke down the house. Uh, so I was running out of options, and so my best bet is to uh, simply, you know, run. <laughs> JK I died, so it was just pointless really. Anyways, aside from that, I actually made the Thaumonomicon. That's right, gamers. I made the Thaumonomicon by getting the Salus Mundus. And I just slapped it on a bookshelf and then I got yourself, myself, the self, the Thaumonomicon. And I also did this. I also gave this Thaumonomicon to Aluba. And I made myself another Thaumonomicon. That is right, gamers. We are becoming wizards in Minecraft. Thaumonomicon time, everybody. Thaumonomicon. I also looked at this beast, right? This, this, this creature that was like wobble wobbling towards me. I wanted to tame it. And so the way to tame such a creature is to get treats. I don't think I tamed this particular 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 one. I think I ended up killing it, but who knows? Surely I don't because I completely forgot when I tamed this thing or not. Or even if I tamed it, you don't know if I actually tamed this thing, you know? I could have failed. I could have failed. Sorry, am I spoiling anything? Look, all I know is that I wanted to tame it. It was a very tall thing and it looked pretty cool. It was a strider and I liked it. Anyways, 
on our way to become wizards in Minecraft. I actually needed to make another wizard thing, but from a different mod pack. It's from the Electro Bob's wiz or from a mod pack. It's from a different mod known as the Electro Bob's Wizardry. And I needed to make the Electro Bob's table. I made it the wand. So there was that. That's what I have in my hand right now, the wand. And yeah, to make the, the table, apparently our biggest struggle was to get purple dye out of all things, purple dye. Eventually, I went out and found a bread and blue flower, and we, uh, yeah, we made the, the table. We plonked down the table, and I feel like this is where we should leave it off. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, like the video, want to subscribe, go ahead and subscribe. And remember to be the top, give the top. Make sure to subscribe for more insane craft. We're playing more insane craft soon in episode two of Insane Craft. But overall, make sure to subscribe for more insane craft. I'll see you guys next video. Take care and goodbye.